Howdy, folks, and welcome to Grandpa's Game Garage. I'm Stephen George, Internet Grandpa, and your game mechanic for today. It's here, Bob on Battlefield. We've previously played a uh, Super Mario 64 level, because uh, a few weeks ago we did Thwomp's Fortress. Well, now, Bob on Battlefield. This is programmed by Dodoloth. Love seeing recreations like this. Let's jump into the game world and take a peek. Okay, so it's me, Mario. If I look different, you're wrong. Coin. Red coin. <laughs> this poor Goomba. Let me jump on your head. And by jump on your head, I mean let me run into your face. I guess I can punch you, right? Because Mario punched. Oh my god, it was made of wood. Are those co then those all count as coins? Man, are uh, there's not a hundred coins in here, right? Because that would be insane. Uh, there's probably not a hundred. Because again, that would be that would be crazy. Do these things ignite and chase me? They do not, but they do explode. So I'm gonna blow them up. What is? What was that? What just? Oh! I'm just like, God, what's happening? And it is, it's, I mean, it is Bob on Battlefield. And I can't get through there. Okay. I was, I was like, I, I think I can physically fit there. <laughs> you may not let me, but like, I'm pretty sure I could fit. Are these blocks destructible? No. Alright, uh, okay, so I'm gonna try and get all my coins. You can jump pretty high, but I should be able to. I'm Mario. Mario had some uh, facial reconstruction surgery after a uh, incident at a bar, and that's why his head is um, this shape now. Some of the some of the run is kind of weird because if you start moving forward and then go backwards, it takes a long time to turn, so you end up doing like this weird. I'm guessing. I'm guessing that, uh, can, can you jump on these? No, actually, <laughs> you have to punch them. And you can see, uh, the bob -omb up there. Also, you're apparently going to be able to fly at some point because there's coins all through. This is wild. I do wish there was a checkpoint system, though. Because the, the thing that makes something like this really hard is that, again, you are contending a little bit with Game Builder Garage jank. And that's going to make it just a little difficult if you slide or something. So a checkpoint system would help, because you are inevitably going to have a death that feels, you know, not very fair. But that's okay. Fart. I did it again. Mario, why aren't your arms longer? All right, so I'm going to ignore that. And uh, go... I. I'm gonna go find something else to uh, to look at and check out more parts of the level instead of worrying about killing every single enemy because it it might be a fool's errand. Like I might get myself killed. I could probably get the uh, red coins though. The red coins are probably pretty safe. Is the is this the cannon? I think this is where the cannon would be. All right. So there's no cannon. I'm still... You must be able to fly, though, at some point. Because, again, there's there's coins up in the air. So that's got to be coming. <laughs> the chain chomp looks a little silly. Oh, God. I knew it. I was like... As soon as I started, I was like, I don't have... The momentum is so wild. I was like, I'm dead. All right, hold on. I got the the thing successfully that time, so that's good. Let me go ahead and grab this one. Again, not going to go for all the normal coins, because uh, I, I feel like I would be... I, I might be angry by the end, but I will get the red coins. It's 
So now we can cross over this bridge. Oh god! Seesaw effect is real! And I'll come over here and grab these first. So let's see, I have three, four, five. Is that right? I think I think that's number five. I think. I have to rely on my my actual Mario 64 knowledge. And it's been it's been a little bit. It's been a little bit since I've since I've played. There's no bubbles showing up here to try and kill me, so that's good. Um, there is a red coin down here though? Yeah, okay, so let me grab this one. And I think that's six. So that opens that. And now I can start making my way up the mountain, where a new threat is there. And that threat is... <laughs> giant balls that can run into me and kill me. Oh yeah, this thing on the hill. Uh, can I get there from here? Or is it going to make me... Oh, I totally can! All right, I'll take it. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Let's not die. The one thing that I would like to see implemented a little bit more in especially recreations where there is a health bar is a health bar. I know it can clearly be done, but there's a lot of times where I see creators not doing that and I really wish they would. Um I really wish that they would you know, have some some method where, like, if you get... Oh, God, where's this going? Where if you get hit, you're not instantly dead. Because especially on a giant sandboxy level like this, that can be extremely frustrating. Where you've, you've tried really hard, but you just... Something happens, it's janky, so, like, you die, and then all of a sudden you're dead. So the question is... Is that all just for looks? That might be just for looks. Oh, see, I thought for sure that there was going to be some way to get over there. But I don't think so? Unless the cannon can do it and it's like a warp? Maybe? Can you be interacted with? I'm scared that you'll kill me instantly. punching air. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna check one more thing. Okay, yeah. So that does count as a as a little warp there. And there's a star here. So I got a star. And then how does this work? Oh, okay. So you have kind of infinite jump. That's how they're doing it. So you can fly. Okay. Well, that's nice, because I was like, you should be able to fly, you know, it's 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 Mario 64, that was actually, I, in some, some ways, is a big selling point. Okay, this is, again, kind of a weird way of doing it, but it works. It works. Oh, and there's a red coin. Did I miss any? I think I got them all. Give me another one of these things and I'll fly down and check. Because there's a sign at the bottom that says... I think there is actually 100 coins here. Like, I, I think that if you really wanted to, you could try and get 100 coins. I'm not going to do that, because I value my sanity, but I think I think there is uh, 30 or uh, 100 here. Yeah. Okay, so I got a third of them. And, uh... I have no regrets. No regrets about this at all. Oh, I'm stuck up here. <laughs> yeah, I... I don't think I can get down. I think I broke through the... I think I, I ascended into heaven. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. ggrandpa.com. That's where you gotta go. If you want to submit levels of your own, or that you found online. Or if you want to play levels and help rate them. Also, ggrandpa.com. I enjoy recreations like this, and they take a long time to do. Um, but again, the one thing that I would I would recommend to, to folks recreating these levels is put in a health bar. Because if, if you're asking folks to collect, you know, 100 of anything, that's super difficult without 
That's super difficult in Mario 64 if you only could take one hit. That's nigh impossible in Game Builder Garage where you've got, you know, the janky physics. Uh, so that's that's my one request to uh, folks creating more levels in the future is uh, if, if death is almost certain, make sure to uh, put a, a health bar or something in or checkpoint system. Both of those are good, good options. Anyway, still cute, and I love to see the recreations. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow for more Grandpa's Game Garage.